Hey everyone, it's Jackie. I'm here with my weekly budget with me. I got myself a coffee, got myself a new calculator, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, this is my second to last pay period that'll be for unemployment. I go back to work on Monday, um, but I will get paid next Friday for this week of unemployment. So I'm um, sorry for the shadows. The sun keeps changing, so I can't really like adjust a whole lot, but we're gonna do our best. Um, so let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I'm working with. Okay, um, so yeah, this will be my pay period for October 2nd. And yeah, you're gonna see lots of shade. Um, let's see here. For <clears throat> my unemployment, it's the same as always, 408. 85 now my mom's income she pays me once a month um because that's how often she gets paid for her portion of like rent utilities whatever so that's coming in there on this and then once again i have some very minimal sales online about six dollars worth so that ends up being a total of 408 I don't do the change. $904. Okay. So I, I'm not gonna write down the dates because I don't really care, but um, I'm actually trying, so I'll just show you here. I since I only get paid three times this month. Um, the second, the ninth, and then again on the 22nd, but this will not be a full pay period. Um, it will only be for this week um, so it's gonna be really small so it's things are kind of tight this month but it's okay that's why we have savings um, the fact that my mom lives with me will help a little bit but my goal is between my mom's income and my paychecks I'm gonna have everything paid that is bills that are due before the 21st and put a little bit of money in savings so that when my pay period comes due on the 22nd the only things i really should have to pay are like my electric um hulu um i like basically a little bit of here so i should be okay that's the plan we'll see how it goes <clears throat> but anyway back we go so umc is my church i give them 11 dollars every couple of weeks um and that goes towards the food pantry um let's see here Apple, $6. Friendly, which is a television service. It does Hallmark. <laughs> That's the only reason we have it. Uh, Christmas Club, again, this is my savings that I treat as a bill. It will, um, it's not technically due till end of the month, but I'm trying to pay it ahead of time because then they will disperse it. Because I don't know about you, but I'm ready for Christmas. And every time I go into a store, I look and I want to buy Christmas stuff. So I want this. Um, back so I can start using it. All right, my Jeep payment in total is $410. I'm gonna go ahead and pay 210 today. And I'm gonna go ahead and put $20 in my health savings account, uh, $10 in gas, and I'm going to put $20 in there as a buffer. Now, you're probably thinking, Jackie, where's your rent? Well, I was blessed and then I got a grant since I lost my job or was on uh, furlough because of COVID, I got a grant from the state of Iowa and they covered two months of my rent. So I had was able to pay without any struggles or going into my savings, my July and um, August rent, and they took care of September and October. So I'll start paying my rent again in November. Super blessed, so thankful. Um, and yes, it just worked out well. I had never had to apply for something like that before, so at first it was a little humbling, but it's there for a reason. I didn't ask to lose my job, so. <laughs> okay, um, United, um, so let's add this up. 11 plus six plus eight plus 48 plus 210 plus 20 plus 10 plus 20. 333 minus 904 is 571. <laughs> 
sorry for all the cars, guys. I have my window open because it's just too nice to not be enjoying the fresh air because pretty soon it'll be winter in Iowa and I won't be able to, so. Okay, next, I have 571. I moved some stuff over here, um, over into like cash envelopes because we're gonna start pretty quick here using these as like, um, we're gonna be spending out of them. So there's no reason to be using them as savings funds. So um, I moved Puppy over here and yeah, for right now Puppy. I moved that from over over on my sinking funds up here. And once I get my Christmas funds, I'll put those over here too, because we'll be spending it. That's the whole point of having saved it. So um, since I only get paid three times, I'm increasing a few things since this is the biggest lump of money I'll have this month. So my walking around money is going to be 30. Groceries is going to be 25. Um, I'm not putting money in pets because she's got plenty of money right now. Household, I'm going to do 20. Let's see here. I think clothing I'll do 10. Hair, I'll do 5. Makeup, 0, even though I used a bunch of it this week. <laughs> Not so much on makeup, but on skincare, because I don't buy a lot of makeup, but I do splurge on skincare. I'm gonna put $10 in gifts and 200 in our new puppy. So let's add that up. <clears throat> 25, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 300. So I got this calculator. I had it in my Christmas wish list, and I got it because I can type so much quicker on that than on my phone. <laughs> and I'm just so excited that I have it because it just makes it makes everything so much easier. So, all right, 271 left. All right, let's move that up here. 271. Although it's really 265 because, as always, I don't budget the six. Um. So let's see here. Again, increasing a few things from normal since I'm only getting paid three times. So Jeep, I think I'm gonna do 25 and I'm gonna do that for school and vet as well. Um, memberships, this is a new envelope. Um, I'll try to do the thing where you stick the card on it so you can see link to where I had to add that one. It's my, also my how I make my cash envelopes. Um, video. Uh, plastics, $6. Garden, I haven't stuffed in a while, so it's going to get five. Couch is getting five. In fact, I think all of these are going to get five. Um, let's see here. Okay. So 25. Let's do the math. <clears throat> Actually, I did this wrong. I decided to put more in couch. That's right. I was like, that doesn't seem right. Because it wasn't. Sorry about that, guys. One hundred and thirty-six. Yep, perfect. Because I want it to be about half. I don't know what's been going on with my phone. It has been blowing up today, and I'm over it. <laughs> like I was on the phone all day, all this morning, talking to financial aid for school, and trying to get a bunch of other stuff figured out. Okay, so I thought I'd explain this a little bit. How I divvy this up. Now we know I'm not going to spend six dollars of the one thirty-five. So that's 129. How I do it when I have this money left over after I do my bills and my sinking funds and stuff is I take that number and I times it by um, 0.3. And that's 30%. So 30% goes to debt. So I will round that up to 39. And that's how much money I'm gonna do as an extra payment on my credit card. Um, so, 135 minus 39 equals, uh, oops, 
I have to fill all this out. And that equals 96. So bring that down here. We know that I'm going to split the $6 out between my rewards. And now that it's technically a new month, I got paid today for the sale, but I won't be getting it out of the bank until tomorrow. Um, I take that $6 and two thirds goes to, or one third goes to rewards. So that's $2 and two thirds goes to my savings and that's $4. So minus six. So I have $90 left that will just go in my general savings. So that should be zero. So let's check ourselves and make sure we're at a zero based budget. So 96 plus 39 plus 136 plus 300 plus 333 plus equals 904. We are at a zero based budget and that is it. So let's go ahead and get our denominations figured out. Okay, walking around money. I am gonna try something different. Um, I'll try to give myself some more fives. I like that this week. So let's see here. This is 30, we'll fill this out first. This is 25 zero uh, household is 20 and that's good because I cleaned that out this week clothing is 10 still haven't used it hair is five zero for makeup uh, gifts 10 puppy is 200 Oops. Boop. and Let's see here, Jeep is 25. So it was school and vet. I did find out for my nursing textbooks that they are, I don't start my nursing classes till April, so I have time to save and I am so relieved. Um, my memberships is 10, plastics is six, garden is five, couch is 25. Electronics is five. Tattoo is five. Arts Festival is five. Journey, my savings is 90. And I went ahead and wrote down here my savings for this. I only needed six more ones um, to add to this column. So let's add everything up and make sure I have the right amount. So 30 plus 25 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 200 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 10 plus 6 plus 5 plus 25 plus 5 5 5 90 plus 6 okay 532 if I did it right that's what it will eat up over here and that's including the 6 over here okay so let's figure out what denominations I want um, for my walking around money, I want two tens and two fives. Groceries, a 20 and a five. Household, a 20 is fine. Clothing, a 10. Hair, a five. The gifts, a 10. I'm going to do two $100 bills. A Jeep, a 20 and a five. 25, 25. Memberships a 10 is plenty. That's going to be a 5 and a 1. A 5, a 20, and a 5. 5, 5, 5. Okay, so let's see here. This is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay. And then these down here. So the 1s are going to be 1 plus that. So that's 7, which is $7. 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which off the top of my head is 65. 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 50. 20 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, is that right? Nope. That should only be one. See, this is why I check it. It's like, mm, that doesn't seem right. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. 150 to 100. So if we add all of that up, 200 plus 50 plus 160 plus 50 plus 65 plus 7, 532. Okay, so write that on here. This is too high up. I have to write it down here. Um, I need to rest my hand on something. So that's going to be seven for seven dollars. Um, Thirteen. I wrote that as money. <laughs> as sixty-five dollars. Five for fifty dollars. Uh, eight for one hundred and sixty dollars. One fifty and two one hundreds. And it'll be 532. All right, so I will take this to the bank on Friday and get the money out. I won't have time to do that tomorrow. So I will do my cash stuffing on Friday. And um, yeah, I've actually had to use some of my sinking funds money for some things I'll talk about then. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I will talk to y'all then. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.